Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Tag Questions. This is something you'll find in level 5, unit 1. Um, I'm going to say this in Spanish because I need you to understand. Las question tags son elementos gramaticales que se colocan al final de una oración en forma de pregunta corta y cuya estructura se opone a la oración anterior. Es decir, uh, si una oración es afirmativa, la question tag que la acompaña será negativa y vice versa. En español equivaldrían a expresiones como no, verdad, no lo ves, de acuerdo, o en inglés sería no, right, don't you see it, ok. Cuando quieres indagar sobre un tema determinado del que deseas obtener más información, vas a usar un tag question o un question tag. Se utiliza también para refutar o afirmar algo que has expresado previamente y también cuando deseas saber la opinión de la otra persona. Tag questions. The purpose of tag questions is to ask for a confirmation from the listener that the statement is correct. If the statement has an auxiliary verb or modal, it is repeated in the tag question, as shown in this example. Tony and Emily are coming, aren't they? This is a couple that's having apparently lunch, and right now one of them is asking the other one, Tony and Emily are coming, aren't they? Question tags are short questions used at the end of a sentence. They're used in spoken English. They're used when asking for agreement or confirmation. There are two forms. There's a positive sentence, negative tag question. Uh, an example would be, it's raining, isn't it? There's a negative sentence with a positive tag. She isn't reading, is she? Here's a table. Here's a positive statement and negative tag. These are examples. You have the subject, the auxiliary, the main verb, and again, you use auxiliary, not, and the personal pronoun. You are coming, aren't you? He likes coffee, doesn't he? She loves you, doesn't she? I am right, aren't I? Again, we use the positive statement with a negative tag. And what happens if it's vice versa? So now we have the negative statement and the positive tag. Again, we basically use the same format, the subject, the auxiliary, the main verb, the auxiliary, and the personal pronoun. It is not raining, is it? You are not American, are you? I am not ready, am I? Again, a negative statement, positive tag. Positive versus negative tags. If the main clause is an auxiliary verb or verb to be, we repeat it in the question tag. Plus, negative. They are playing, aren't they? Obviously, they are playing. So, the um, affirmation here is they are playing. And the tag is aren't they? So, if it's positive on one side, it's got to be negative on the tag. Here's another example. He isn't studying, is he? Yes, obviously he is. But he isn't studying, is he? Again, negative sentence and a positive tag. Yes. It's your turn to try. How good do you think you might be now? So pay attention to the first person singular of the verb to be in the negative form. I'm charming. What would you say the answer would be? Would it be, aren't I? Am I not be? Am I not? Am I is not? Think for a minute. What would the answer be? Of course the answer is, aren't I? And again the options were, aren't I? Am I not be? Am I not? Am I is not? Here's another one. Remember that if the main clause doesn't have an auxiliary verb, we use do, does, don't, or doesn't in the question tag. He studies very hard. 
what would you say the answer would be? Would it be, does he? Did he does? Doesn't he? Doesn't, does, doesn't he? Think. What would the answer be? Of course the answer is, doesn't he? And again the choices were, does he? Did he does? Doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't he? And of course we know D, it doesn't, it's misspelled. Here's another one. And again, you have to remember that if the main clause does not have an auxiliary verb, we use do, does, don't, or doesn't in the question tag. She doesn't know where to go. What would you say the answer would be? Would it be, doesn't she? She doesn't? Does not she does? Or does she? Think for a minute. Uh, what would you say the answer would be? Of course, the answer is, does she? Again, we're expressing a negative statement, we're making a negative statement with a positive tag. The question, the answers were, doesn't she? She doesn't. Does not she does? Does she? In summary, question tags are made of an auxiliary verb plus a pronoun which go at the end of a sentence, either to ask for more information about something or to confirm something which we believe is true. The auxiliary verb matches the tense of the main verb, and the pronoun comes directly from the noun. This may help you understand a little, and don't forget the rest of the modal verbs. The positive auxiliary and the negative auxiliary. Verb to be is are, do, does, and the subject, isn't, aren't, don't, does, plus the subject. Yes? Can, can't, will, can't, won't, could, couldn't, would, wouldn't, have, has, haven't, hasn't. Remember that there are also other modal verbs. Tag questions.